Welcome, my name is Akito. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a gliding sliding 808 bass in Ableton just like this. I'll start by going over how to tune an 808. Some samples come unlabeled and this is a quick and effective way to make sure your bass is in key and hitting the correct notes. I'll begin by double clicking the chosen sample which will open in a simpler device. After that I'll load a tuner. Then I'll insert a new MIDI clip. I'm going to click in some notes at C3. This will play back the sample at its original pitch which will help us identify the note of the 808. I'll copy the notes across this 4 bar MIDI clip. It doesn't have to be this long of course, I just find it easier with more notes or in a short loop. Once I hit play and the sample is triggered, the tuner device will display the note of the 808. So I will re-pitch the kick down to a C by adjusting the transpose in the simpler. You can also use the detune feature to refine the tuning even further for pitch perfect basses. I'm going to move the notes around, I just want to double check that the 808 is tuned accurately for peace of mind by playing them in different notes in the piano roll and referencing the tuner. Now we have that covered, let's get these 808 sliding. In this example, I'll select a different 808, loading it into a simpler by double clicking the sample in the browser. I want to make sure that the sample plays only one note at any given time, so I'll select voices then hit one. I will then go to the control section and whack on glide. Under that is the all important glide time, which will determine how long it will take to glide from one note to the other. The sample is marked at C, but to be sure I'll once again load a tuner device. I created this MIDI clip earlier including some glide notes for the 808. One sliding upwards in the second bar and the last two slides in the fourth bar. As you can currently hear, it sounds really dead and the notes don't slide very well. But here is the secret sauce. Massive shout out to Kylo Skeng for talking me through this. I'm going to leave some links to Kylo in the description. There is a very simple solution. I'm going to double click the MIDI clip. I'll start by zooming in for the notes gliding downwards. I'll take off the grid option for now so I can nudge the notes slightly. And then I'll adjust the one in bar 2 as well, I'll shift it to the right slightly. Now I'll play it again so you can hear the difference. Much better we're getting there now. You can refine and edit these glides by experimenting with the length of the note, the positioning and glide time. Next I'll show you how to create an instrument rack for your 808s and save you loads of time in the future. I'll begin by selecting both the simpler and tuner and grouping them together. This will load both devices into an instrument rack. I'm going to show the macro controls so we can assign some parameters for quick and easy editing. I'll kick off with the filter by right clicking the frequency knob and assigning it to macro 1. I'll change the filter type 2 to introduce drive and assign it to macro 2. I'll then add attack and release to individual macro knobs as well as the glide time. This makes for hands on editing and saves you fiddling about too much. I'll then adjust the macro controls until I get the bass sounding how I want.
The great thing about setting up instrument racks is that you can save as presets and open them in any of your Ableton projects moving forward, which can save a lot of time and hassle as your 808s will already be tuned and your macros assigned. Also, you can always load and save the instrument rack presets with your go-to signal chain, saving you even more time. I hope you gained some value from today's tutorial. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, love.